there, my name is Bridget and this is my craft presentation. I am a producing craft, which means for my senior capstone project, I produced two films. I spoke with Death and She Was Kind, written and directed by Sunny Skinner, and Never Too Old, written and directed by Nick Hartmetz. I didn't always know I wanted to be a producing crafter here in SOFA. I thought when I was a freshman, I wanted to be an editing crafter. I've always been an extremely organized and creative person, and I figured producing was the best combination of both. People say that filmmaking is just problem solving on a bigger scale, and I agree. So how did I find that out? When producing, I always try to find something that I love about the script, obviously because I want to work on the project, but I try to find either a theme or a message within the film that I personally resonate with. These two films were so drastically different from each other in tone, mood, and story, but I think that I did a great job with both. Being able to produce two different films let me flex my producing abilities into other genres, ones that I have not explored before. Let's get down into the nitty gritty of it all. Never Too Old is about a centuries old vampire who travels all the way from his home country to attend college. In a mockumentary style of filming, we worked with two different college campuses to be able to make a film that shares resemblance to The Office with the humor of one Nick Hartpence. Fun fact, yes, this is a film about vampires set in a mockumentary style, but Nick had never even seen what we do in the shadows when writing the script for Never Too Old. I spoke with Death and she was kind. Those might also know the film by its previous title, The Cycle of Valerian, is about a young girl, Valerian, experiencing the death of her grandmother through talking with the physical embodiment of death herself. This film ended up being the more metaphorical, experimental, and lyrical of the two films that I produced, but I'll get into that later. When producing, here's how you can feel like this <coughs> instead of this. <coughs> or even this. Hey, not my circus, not my monkeys, right? I'm the one that brought the monkeys to the circus. Step one, get your shit together. Seriously. As a producer, you need to know how to gather a crew, equipment, locations, and cast. Step two, document your shit. Paperwork, 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 and more paperwork. I had 24 personal releases for Never Too Old. We had to collect the signatures of every main cast member who appeared in the film, as well as every unsuspecting random Nazareth college student that Dominic, our actor, ran up and spoke to. Make sure you have insurance, location agreements, personal releases, email documentation, text, make sure everything that you want to communicate is written somewhere, document everything. Step three, manage your shit. Be responsible. You have to make sure your house is in order for everyone else's to be too. Do things on time, plan ahead, make backup plans for your plans and backup plans for your backup plans and backup plans for those backup plans. On filming I Spoke With Death and She Was Kind, we ended up having to make a new plan 12 hours before crew call. That was fun. Here's some footage from that night. Um, I'm also kind of just like, at this point, like we've already done <laughs> so much work into getting like this weekend set up and it's like, even though our, put, our pickup deadline is March 8th, so we have a little bit more time it's not worth yeah I'm the not, stress I'm not, I I can't afford. it's not worth no. the stress. crafty yeah no, no. i don't think that that would no it's not worth getting thing. it with the cast again getting all yeah. that it's not worth any of our our mental health our bank accounts well it's i think not, yeah constantly scrambling is constantly scrambling is not it, good for anything yeah because i step four feed your shit in this case, do feed your gremlins after midnight, or at least every six hours. We found that gremlins like Welch's and Duncan. I ordered a lot of Duncan for Sunny Step. <laughs> Step five, feed your shit. Part two. It's important to also feed your creative energy. Producing is stressful. It's time consuming, it's tedious, and it takes a specific type of pain tolerance in order to be able to do so. You deal with a lot of people like this. Is Michael? No. Nancy, what about Nancy? No. Seriously? Am I done here? Son of a bitch, you know, you're really no help at all, you know that? But in order to be able to fuel your creative side, you need to do something fun. I found that in filming Never Too Old. 
Filming a guy dressed as a vampire running around RIT and Nazareth campus for four days was exhausting, but exciting and hysterical. <laughs> Step six, learn your shit. Learn from your mistakes. And I definitely think I made a few, but this is an educational environment. And I know that every mistake I made helped me in improving my producing abilities later down the line. Overall, I think I could have been more communicative with my crews during the pre-production, production, and post-production process. I tend to hyper-focus in specific areas and neglect other areas, and I feel like some things fell through the cracks because of that. Additionally, I spoke with Death and she was kind, proved to be the more challenging of the two films I produced. We faced several production problems and ended up having to change the production plans no less than a dozen times which resulted in Sunny having to change to a more experimental format of filmmaking and storytelling rather than the original straightforward narrative she had originally planned on. From sickness to travel issues to scheduling problems and the ever-present shadow of COVID-19, we had our fair share of hurdles that we overcame during filming. When you don't have some actors, you gotta make the best with what you do have. One actor, your location, and Sunny being able to fit into the death costume. Problem solved? Overall, I value my time here at RIT and within SOFA. I've had a really great experience here and I've made lifelong friends with my classmates and fellow filmmakers. And I achieved a little personal goal for myself, which was to work at the SOFA cage because when I was a freshman, I thought to myself, I'm gonna work at the SOFA cage. And now I've been working at the SOFA cage for two years, which is really fun. And I know now what they mean when they say filmmaking is just problem solving on a bigger scale. Fantastic. Well, with that, um, I think I'm happy. I think we're good, and I think that's a wrap. That's a wrap. I'm never too old. <laughs> Thank you to the crews of both films. You are the reason we succeeded. Your endless dedication to our craft is why I love SOFA and I love filmmaking. My most gracious thank yous to my mom, my sister, my professors, Brandy, Bill, Laura, my roommates, and my capstone class. Moonjaw's gonna kill me, there are shadows, oh my god. Problem solving on a bigger scale, and I agree. There's a plane in the background. Okay. I don't think you can pick it up, anyway.